What's up guys, I am Nikhil back with another episode of iGeeks blog. Well, if you are watching this video, it means that you probably installed iOS 12 beta on your iPhone or iPad. Now, you can't bear with the annoying bugs of the latest iOS and want to downgrade to a stable version of the iOS. No need to fret over it. Let's jump into the video to easily downgrade from iOS 12 to iOS 11. Before we start, make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from the iGeeks blog. First of all, disable Find My iPhone. To do that, navigate to Settings, select iCloud Profile, tap iCloud, scroll down and select Find My iPhone. Google this switch to disable it. It will ask you to enter Apple ID password. Enter it and tap on the turn off. Now, let's move ahead to download the iOS. Go back to setting, then select general and tap on about. Look for the carrier. If you have AT&T or T-Mobile, that means you have a GSM phone. Rest is the global versions of iPhone. Now, head over to ipsw.me on your Mac or Windows. I have mentioned the link in the description down below. Select iPhone or iPad and pick your device version. I have iPhone 10 global version and I am heading over to download iOS 11.4. You cannot downgrade to unassigned IPSW, so select your choice of iOS version listed under the sign IPSWs. Click on the download button and let's finish the downloading. Once the download is complete, connect your device to your Mac or Windows PC and launch the iTunes. Before we move ahead, make sure you take backup of your device. Click on the iPhone button and it will bring up a new screen. Over here, we need to select the downloaded IPSW file of the iOS. If you are on a Mac, then hold the option key and click on the check for the update. Or if you are using Windows PC, then hold the shift key and click on the check for updates. It will bring up a window from where we need to select the IPSW file that we downloaded. Now you can see a pop-up saying that iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 11.4 and will verify the update with the Apple. Hit the update button. Take a deep breath and let's iTunes downgrade your device from iOS 12 to your chosen version of iOS. Follow the instruction on the phone to complete the setup of stable iOS. Once the process is finished, your device is ready to use. As you can see, my iPhone is now running on iOS 11.4. That's pretty much to it. Like this video if it helped you, share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more upcoming iOS 12 videos. I am signing off and will catch you in the next one.